Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. It's been a while. I just had to take a break because I wasn't feeling very well. But hopefully I'm getting better. It's been really cold. <laughs> this weather was really cold. So now it's getting very really chilly. <laughs> well, anyway, I haven't reviewed um, a penis special for a while, so I thought it'd be okay to review the 11th primetime animated television special called It's a Mystery, Charlie Brown, which is a story about Woodstock, who just made himself a, a bird nest, which all of a sudden got stolen. So it's up to Snoopy, disguised as Sherlock Holmes, to find it. Stars Todd Barbie as Charlie Brown, Melanie Kahn as Lucy Van Pilt, Stephen Shea as Linus Ben Pelt, Donna Fordman as Pepper and Patty, Jimmy Arends as Marcy, Lynn Mortensen as Sally Brown, Tom Mueller as Pigpen, and Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock, with some archive footages of the screams from Peter Robbins, which they use it for Lucy Van Pelt and Pepper and Patty. Yeah, which they had been using that for years during all these specials and shows and even movies. Yeah. It's created and written by Charles M. Schultz and it's directed by Phil Wellman. The special begins in this one beautiful day, Woodstock, the little yellow birdie, that Snoopy's pal, is preparing to build his own bird nest on top of a tree stem of a tiny uh, tree. Well, only just a little bit of leaves on there, but it's a tree stem. When he first uh, built his bird nest, it actually failed the first time because when he tries to go on, he fell all the way down, you know, along with the nest straws. So when he tries to prepare the second time, it got better. So that way he gets to relax around. So then he prepared himself to go take a bath on his uh, bird pool. <laughs> it was very cold and chilly, but just some good time for him to to take a swim and relax. So suddenly, this beautiful day turns into a huge stormy rainy day, and that's where he felt trapped, like he was stuck in a tidal wave. You know, he was trying to escape, but no use until Snoopy arrived in the umbrella to save the day, save his life, and puts uh, Woodstock on top of his doghouse to dry. <laughs> so he brings in his blow dry to, to dry him up. <laughs> of course, he ends up landing on <laughs> Later on, though, just to trick him, he just blew the hair dryer and just <laughs> put him in. And once, and Woodstock landed on inside the, his dog dish with water. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sally, Charlie Brown's sister, is preparing for a science project that she has to do because her teacher decided that she needed to do something. So that way she'll be able to earn a good grade. And that's how frustrated she really is because she's really having a hard time. So because of that, she had no choice but to steal Woodstock's nest. And that's when when Woodstock this, suddenly the, discovered that his nest is missing. So he offers Snoopy for help. And that's where Snoopy dresses up as Sherlock Holmes. And they went on the hunt during that night to, to go find his bird nest. So first they went to Charlie Brown's house, you know, trying to give him some answers, but unfortunately, no such luck, because he hasn't seen a bird nest anywhere. Then they went to Linus and Lucy's house. Try to dust some fingerprints. 
and eventually he found a broom straw only to believe that this might be the, the straw from the nest so he thought that Lucy was a suspect yep so Snoopy suddenly handcuffs uh, Lucy and then <laughs> but, but then suddenly Lucy just drags uh, Snoopy around and just threw him off and that's where Linus just keeps saying ashes to ashes and dust to dust <laughs> and all, all of that uh, I don't want to give it away too much because it's one of those funny jokes then he went to Marcy's house saying some questions about the bird nest but unfortunately Marcy just couldn't understand the word that Snoopy was saying so then Marcy shut the door but then he found out that Woodstock is is uh, stuck <laughs> inside uh, the door so Snoopy tries to grab him and he did from the mail mailbox slot after that Pigpen's house Pigpen just came and suddenly <laughs> all, all the way full with dust and causes uh, Snoopy and Woodstock to run away and then finally they went to Pepper and Patty's house which all of a sudden Pepper and Patty decided to play cops and robbers with Snoopy thinking that he was actually playing that game but he, he's just going around searching for some clues and, and trying to find where the bird nest is at so, so that's where Pepper and Patty dresses up wearing a burglar mask <laughs> and chases him throughout the entire house until he escapes with Woodstock. So no such luck. Snoopy suddenly searches for all the the footprints which suddenly leads into the Birdbridge School where all the peanuts can go. Yeah, every day. They went inside and that's where you see all these science projects all around. <laughs> really cool projects. Like, for example, Snoopy was just fooling around with the microphone, and then he got electrocuted, and then finally, he spotted the bird nest, which is going to be the science project for, for Sally. So, Snoopy took it and gave it back to Woodstock, put it way back to where it used to be, on that small tree stem, and now... Woodstock is happy. But then the next day, Sally found out that her project has been stolen and missing. And that's when he told Charlie Brown that it's, it's a prehistoric bird nest that she was using for the science project. And that's where Charlie Brown assumed that, yes, this was the bird nest that Woodstock had made. So that's where they decided to settle for court. And that, that's where you see Lucy dresses up as the judge. Yeah, where Linus just uh, typing up everything they said. You know, you know, where they just agreed. Yeah, where Woodstock is the defendant and Sally is the, the, the ruler. So, they're, so basically, they're trying to settle this in an organized manner. Because Sally was the one who took the prehistoric bird nest, as she refers to. And then, as they finally settle all this, Woodstock won the case. So now he has the, the bird nest. Where Sally just decided that she's been robbed and, and she doesn't have a science project to do. But she knows she's going to fail if she doesn't have one. So Charlie Brown decided to figure out that there might be a better solution to this. It may be a better science project that will work for, for Sally. And that is, decided to bring Snoopy for the project, which the exhibit was basically a recreation of Pablo's uh, dog experiment. So that's why, that way Sally can give him commands by using a bell 
So he reigns, and that's where the dog gets the attention. And Sally gives him a, a doggy treat. And it ends. It's a great special. I really enjoy that. And it really shows about what was it like if if something is missing, what are you going to do? Dress up as Sherlock Holmes to solve the mystery on who took the nets or anything else. Yeah, it's very funny too. I uh, really enjoyed it. Um, kind of interesting for Pepper and Patty though. I mean, that's what I noticed that her voice sounded like, like she had laryngitis. <laughs> But I know they had to use a different voice actress, which or actor, um, Donna Foreman. So it almost sounds like yeah, <laughs> they're trying to get into that particular tomboyish voice uh, as we assume. And basically, it's just Woodstock, you know, just having fun before trying to solve um, the mystery of who took the bird nest and all of that and it's always fun for Snoopy to to play detective and just solving clues and everything to a lot of crazy things happening <laughs> yeah. uh, but the best moment of them all was the courtroom scene you know where you see Lucy in her um, psychiatric uh, help booth and turns it into a a judge booth so that, that way they They'd be able to settle all this. It was it was cool. And then that's where we see Snoopy dresses up as <laughs> Woodstock's lawyer. Yeah, and this is where he brings in the, his briefcase. Yeah, he has one that's filled with a a, a sandwich that's been bitten. Yeah, it just has a bite. And then he was just getting all the all the documents that that he had to give to the judge so he, that way she'd be able to read all that in so facto. <laughs> and she just keeps saying, Oh good grief. <laughs> and Sally just keeps saying it. And then by the time he told Sally on why he took the bird nest, she says, Finders keepers, losers weepers. Anyway, yeah, it, it was a fun special. I really enjoyed it. Um, definitely recommend it. So, just going to keep it short here. So I give It's a Mystery Charlie Brown five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.